Hi guys, welcome back to Chubby Place. So today we are going to take a look at Vaporeon GX and Glacion GX for standard formats. So I've been thinking for a while to, you know, use the evolutions again and from what I see, I think Vaporeon and Glacion are the best to do the job. So why is it that people not playing evolutions again after the post rotation right it's really just because of the ev you know the ev last time you have this ev from sun and moon space set with the ability energy evolution so you just need to put your energy on it and it will evolve according to whatever energy whatever basic energy that you put on it and so it's a very fast mechanism to evolve your ev and at the same time you don't actually need to find the pokemon itself to evolve it so it's very very fast and very efficient that's why the evolutions are quite widely used last time but the EV is our rotation now so we only have normal EVs and we really need to find our Pokemon by itself so that's why I was thinking how to use these cards again then maybe I can combine it with a Quagsire and Nagadadel combination so just last time I played Quagsire and Nagadadel with Keldeo GX but Keldeo GX is more towards stalling the opponent's GX Pokemon. So this time we are going to find an attacker, which is Vaporeon GX. So okay, I'm just going to go through a bit of how Negadadel and Quagsire mechanism is if why not? So Negadadel discharge energy from this card pile to this Pokemon and Quagsire has the ability wash out to move the water energy to your active Pokemon. That's why here we are going to use the two water evolutions which is Vaporeon and Glaceon. Vaporeon will be our main attacker here because Vaporeon's attack is actually very similar to Quagsire. So Hydro Pump 40 plus damage. This attack does 30 more damage times the amount of water energy attached to this Pokemon. So this is very similar to, to Quagsire, I mean. And it hits harder. So at least you have 3 water energy on it. So you will do at least 130 damage. And of course, if you need more damage, you just need to add more water energy on this Vaporeon GX. The good thing is it hits weakness on the Reshizard and if need to you can put as many water energy as you want to hit to like gain more damage and one hit most of the things that that's out there right now I believe like the Valkyrs tag team GX up now have around 300 HP so 300 HP you need 9 energy I think it's very unlikely you're going to use 9 energy but why not you can actually do it and the ability is that it helps you a bit as a GX Pokemon you only have 210 HP that I think is a lot of tag team Pokemon can one hit this quite easily these days so you can heal 30 damage from active water Pokemon each turn so this is one thing from it yeah and then you also have Glaceon GS, the other water type evolution. So the reason why I use this card because this is a perfect counter to Mewtwo and Mewtech Team GX. So why is it so right? It's because the ability Freezing Gaze, as long as this Pokemon is your active, your opponent's Pokemon GX and EX of course has no abilities, including in hand and including in discard pile. So imagine you are battling against Mewtwo and Mew GX and they are going against your Glaceon GX. So the only way that you can shut down Glaceon's ability is using Power Plant or shift it to your bench. Shift it to your bench, you need Custom Catcher which nowadays is still very hard to get. And otherwise, you need to use Power Plant. But if you use Power Plant, your Mewtwo and Mew also cannot attack. So this is a very hard situation for Mewtwo and Mew GX to deal with. The bad thing is Glaceon GX will actually get one hit by the Mewtwo and Mew GX attack. So I played uh, this deck a few times before I faced against Mewtwo and Mew and they actually GX me and that time I only run one Glaceon GX so that's actually the reason why I run two Glaceon GX is because one died I can just put another one to wall the Mewtwo Mew again. The attack itself is not very amazing. It's Frost Bullet 90 damage, 30 damage to the bench, but I think if you're walling something, that is a good enough damage. And if you're against, I guess you're just sniping some of the non-GX Pokemon on their bench, 30 damage, I think that's quite good. 
But the GX attack is actually a very good attack. So the same, 3 energy, Polar Spear GX, this attack does 50 damage for each damage counter on your opponent's active Pokemon. So yeah, what you, what you want to do is use Frost Bullet once and maybe do 90 damage on the active 30 on the bench then in case that they switch out anything you can still use your Polar Spear GX. If you are attacking on the you know, the same active Pokemon, you will do 9 times 50 which is like 450 and confirm will knock it out. If you do it on the other Pokemon that you have sniped, you can do at least 150 damage. So it's good. It's a good extra attacker that we have here since we know that Negadadal, Quagsire have a bit of difficulties in chunking out damage because we don't have a lot of attackers. Then we also have Mew here. So Mew to protect your bench because you don't want them to hit your Quagsire or Negadadal. They're very important mechanism. And okay, the other cards that we have are just trainer cards. And it's a usual trainer cards really. Cherish Ball, find your GX Pokemon, Custom Catcher, Great Potion because we are going to heal a bit using Vaporeon. So why not a bit of Great Potion. Mysterious Treasure to find your Poipo and Negadadal. Pokegear, Pokemon Communication, Reset Stamp, Switch. Because most of our Pokemon has retreat cost of 2. And Blizzard Town. Again, because we are going to heal up a bit using Vaporeon, so I think this is unlikely to happen to us. I uh, want to play a few stadium cards really because, you know, you want to counter those Hit Factory, Wondrous Labyrinth, those kind of thing. And sometimes you really need to replace the opponent's stadium card. So I run Blizzard Town, Pokemon with 40 HP or less remaining, can't attack. Yeah. Uh, it's very unlikely for us to have 40 HP or less, so I think this is quite a good stadium card to play in this deck. And of course, Fusion Forest, help to fight energy, help to drop energy as well for Negadadel. And our draw supporters, Cynthia, Hapu and Lily. I run Hapu also because we sometimes need to drop our water energy, so why not use Hapu then we can, you know, have a better draw. Maybe. And of course, 10 water energy. Yeah, so that's more or less about this deck. I actually don't yeah, I don't really have enough Cherish Ball. I think it's actually better to run, you know, 4 Cherish Ball with the 3 EVGX. It'll be more consistent, but I don't have enough Cherish Ball in this account. So this time I'm going to play it with this deck first. Actually, let me just change it. Okay. Uh, last time I was thinking I don't want to play this small EV, you know, because... I mean, I don't want to play the EVGX. Oh, never mind, I only have two. Yeah, I don't want to play the EVGX because... I wanted to play green. But then in the end, I decided not to play green, so I think I can afford to change it. It's better if you play EVGX and you play more Cherish Ball. So you can work it out with, you know, Pokemon communication, those kind of stuff, then... You can get your Upper and Quagsire more easily as well. But yeah, I don't have enough Cherish Ball. Okay, our first match. What is that? Electric, Fire, Dragon, and what? Psychic. So is this a Mewtwo and Mew deck? If it's a Mewtwo and Mew deck, it's... Oh wait. I want the EVJ to be in front. Yeah, if it's a Mewtwo and Mew there, it's actually a good time to showcase the the power of Glacian GX. But of course, it's still one hit if it's. Oh, never mind. Uh, I kinda want to keep the Neganadel and Vaporeon. Okay, I don't think you can one hit me next turn, so... Okay, I can heal anyway using Vaporeon, but very likely that I will die next turn. If my Vaporeon can attack next turn, that means I need water energy this turn. But I also need an Uber this turn. Wait, too many things that I need. I need a Cynthia. Okay, uh, at least I get an Uber. 
I need water energy, is it? it? But there's no way for me to get water energy. Alright. That was bad. I didn't actually get water energy. Very likely that our EV will die this turn. Yeah, I guess that's the problem of using EVGX now. At least we can use Great Potion on the EV. Okay, so let's see. Oh, he drops a lot. Oh, okay. Not really. Alright. Okay, he can't evolve this turn, so... Sure, why he took out? Okay, never mind. I was thinking, not sure why he took out the Mew, so he just wants to drop it. Yeah, I wait. I do have Bench Attacker, you know. I run Glacion, but I think it's quite insignificant against this deck. Okay, don't show this again. Yep, don't show this again. Okay, confused. That's not an issue. This Pokejo is an issue, okay. I don't want to use our Pokéjail but I want to get as many cards as possible. So let's just use the Great Potion here. And Custom Capture for one. Okay, that's nice. But yeah, I'm pretty sure we won't be able to have enough. So I really need to get an Eevee. Ah, uh, I also need an egg and a Del. That's bad. Yeah, that's bad. If he has two egg and a Del, he has he needs three egg and a Del to kill us next turn. So, but we have nothing in our hand. I'm not really sure why. My hand stuck so fast. Uh, let me just put it there. Okay, I'm done. So we need a draw supporter next turn. What we really need is a Naganadal and another water energy. If we can get that right, then we can start attacking. Yeah. Oh, I've totally forgot about the welder. Didn't count that. Okay. Oh, okay. Now he can one hit. No, he cannot one hit me. But you just need to put one more energy and you can one hit me. Alright. Ah, still cannot do anything. What a bad luck. Maybe I should have used Hapu instead and get to set up. Yeah, that was not good. I think if we didn't get anything next like, so I'm just going to. Yeah, I'm just going to concede because our head is just so bad. Ball. That can give us Naganadel, but that's it. Yeah, we still don't have the energy. Okay, never mind. I have to concede this turn. Okay, I guess the problem is 
Okay, you solve problem that the standard deck face. It's very hard to find a Pokemon. In I don't know why I have not been having. Okay, Psychic and Steel. Is it Ultron and Kuzma? Okay, lost a coin flip. Yeah, I was saying that. Consistency. It's very hard to achieve, I feel. It's really because one thing, the EV is not exactly good. And the other thing, of course, is the lack of Ultra Ball to find your Pokemon. And yeah, I should have run for Cherish Ball. If you're thinking of running this deck, right, you really should run for Cherish Ball. Yep, Malama. So yeah, it should be a Malama that Show, draw a card Yep, I was saying that If you play this deck, you should run For Cherish Ball Then you can get your EVGX and The evolutions much easier Okay. Is it going for energy and retreat? I actually drop one and recycle energy. Oh wait. Now it might be a Necrozma deck also. <laughs> Amazingly, we have two custom catcher. Uh, Cynthia, Hapu. I'll take another Hapu then. Okay, I'll Pokecom this for uh, Upa on EV. I think it won't. They won't set up very fast, so I'll take the Wooper first. Then I can put water energy here and go for Hapu. I don't tell, don't need it. What? Hey, give me three water energy. This is very weird. Okay, I'll just take the negative Dell so I can evolve it next turn, then I guess. Should I just take the custom catcher? But I don't I don't even want a custom catcher here. I can custom catcher him now so he can waste another one, but I think I'll get Cynthia then. Okay, I'm done. Um, I guess I'm just going to custom catcher hit after he has Malama because Malama is harder to retreat. Yep. Oh, we need to get our muse soon. Attack already if he has one energy. I guess we really need to find a way to get. Ah, <laughs> I don't like this deck. I mean, the opponent's deck. I was saying, I guess we really need to find a way to get our basic Pokemon out earlier. Is he really stuck searching for a skateboard? I'm really hoping for that. Okay, we need to get our muse soon. Oh, he has it.
This is hot. Use great potion, but I'll drop the great potion. Can you give me the basic? Uh, okay, at least we can get a basic EV from here. Why is it always like this? Start with no. Okay, with no supporter somehow. We really, really need to draw a supporter, and somehow I can even draw a Quagsire. We only have two, you know. I haven't been drawing my Pokemon communication, and yeah, currently doesn't look very well. Not sure if the opponents that actually run switch or not. If I can buy one turn, then I can kill his Melama. Actually, that will help quite a bit. Okay, now let me show you his treasure. Three cards from your discard pile into your hand. Treasure GX. I'll retreat next turn, but he can't kill me with 130. Yeah, actually, I think I'm going to GX here. Yeah, I'm going to Mysterious Treasure. Okay, so I have to GX for... Maybe I'll just get a Quagsire. Okay, I'll get the Quagsire and the Pokemon, Pokemon communication. And the Cynthia. Right, sounds like it. Yeah. Oops, not this. So is he going to retreat? Okay, so I really need that Wait, I think about it Does Mew actually blocks this? We got two Pokemon communication Okay, let's just check use abilities. Opponents attack, so it doesn't block spell attack and abilities, I guess. So I have to get. Never mind, I'll just get my Vapora first then. Then I need to set up another thing to Nina. Okay, I can't believe the EVGX actually helps us quite a bit. Yeah, I'm going Cynthia first. I need to get more basic. Okay, we get another Uber. We need to set this up very soon. Okay, uh, okay, I can't use this. Yeah, I can't switch so much. Okay, I need to evolve the Uber soon. Otherwise, we'll just be dead by the spell tag. No? 
Wait, why does he does that? Why does he do that? Hmm, okay. Okay. Is there any Pokemon that is going to come up? It's going to kill everything? Hmm. Maybe I'm missing a certain information about this deck. The opponent's deck, I mean. At least, you know, he can't recycle his spell tag, isn't it? Great potion. Okay, the bad thing is I use up my two great potion. Okay, so Eevee is there. I am actually going to retreat. I'm going to retreat and attack it with EVGX instead. Do I switch or do I retreat? I think I can afford to switch. have to drop a lot of things here. I have Lily and... Okay, I really need one more, isn't it? I need one more attacker at least, so I'm going to get my Vaporeon instead. I have Glaceon in hand, so I can evolve this into Glaceon. Or Vaporeon. Yep. Ah. Hard decision. Okay. How do I get the Mew? I'm really scared. I don't know what is... I really don't know what the opponent is playing. Now, since he's been spreading damage to other stuff... I'll take the Mew. I'll take the Mew just in case. Uh, Quagsire. Yeah, Quagsire is still important. At least Quagsire can attack. So, we lost a lot of things, but... Okay, if you put the attack on the, uh, the damage on the other Giratina, right? Oh, wait. I was saying about this thing. What is it? The distortion. Oh, the shadow impact for damage counter. If you put it on the Giratina, I can actually use my Glaceon to one hit him. Yep, my Quack Sorry is dying. Okay, he does 160. Oops. Oh no. There goes my Eevee. Alright. Okay, now I have to send this. Okay, I'll get the point first. 
Pojpo. And charge up. Did I charge up the previous turn? Actually scared that eh? <laughs> I forgot to charge up. Alright, let's count. I need four energy. Yep. Okay, so let's wash out. Four energy done. Okay, let's see. Do I still have water energy? Yep. I don't think that I can. Hmm, I don't think I can do anything against him at this time. Because he has three prize cards left, so. Most probably. Yeah, and he's very consistent also with the Giratina. So, most probably, what's going to happen now is he's going to hit me every turn. And I really need to have another attacker ready. That's what I want. I want my Glacion. I want I need another Vaporeon. I dropped it. Because of the Mew. Oh. Okay now I cannot use my Vaporeon to attack again. Okay, I still have the normal EV, so Okay, now I need to send an extra bell. Okay, that is quite bad. Okay, put down the energy, charge up because before it's too late. And I'm going to reset stamp here because why not? I don't want him to have two custom catcher and key on my Vaporeon. And Cynthia, we need to set up an EV. Oh no, it's a small EV. That's fine. Mm. Nope, everything will die, so I have to do this. There's nothing else that I can find, yeah. Oh no. Oh no, I can't believe my my view is actually the liability. Ah, uh, <laughs> that was a very bad mistake. Never mind, well played. And what? I have no cards in my deck. Did I not count that also? Oh no, that was a very bad mistake. <laughs> I feel so bad about that. Never mind, that's it. Thank you for playing. Yep, thank you for playing with me. Oh no, I can't believe I did so many mistakes. I mean, in my defense, I don't know whether the opponent has any bench attacker or not. I guess now I learned, maybe a Giratina deck does not run bench attacker. Okay, now we are getting some water and colorless water. Okay, I mean fire and colorless type. I wonder what is this? Ah, okay, I should really learn to play better. Hmm? He doesn't want to start first, so... Okay, fine. What is... What's with us and custom catcher? 
Yeah. It's always like the first few turns that we get a custom catcher, then like why? You're not even going to use it. And yes, she's uh, uh I'm going to mischievous treasure for something, but I don't know if I want to drop one of the hapu. Do I want a castle catcher? I don't know. Not drop a pokeja. Okay, we got Naganadel. Okay. We want Naganadel next turn. But I don't want to. Okay, maybe Fusion Forest? I can get an energy starting from this turn. But I want Cynthia. Okay, I can hapu again next turn, I guess. And of course, I'll draw the counter catcher, custom catcher, because I don't think we need it now. I uh, will save the cherish ball. Wait, I should put it in front. Never mind. I guess I should really learn to think before putting anything down. I don't know. I think I have this kind of habit that I feel that this is right, then I'll just do it first. <laughs> After that, I realize wait, that's not the best thing to do. Okay, we'll just see what we get from Harpoon next turn. Yeah, this thing can one hit our Peporion and Inglation, so I'll really not take a risk. And anyway, he has Welder, he'll be able to charge very, very fast. Okay, another Reshizat. Hmm. Hmm. This guy is taking so long. Okay, I'm actually going to Cherish Ball for another EVGX. Very likely our EVGX is going to die next turn. I'm just going to let it be. Okay, I'm going to Hapu first. Yes, give me an Uber. No, don't give me two Uber. Ah. Okay, I'll get an Uber and a Lily, I guess. But this deck runs a lot of custom catcher. I really don't want to risk it. Okay, I'm going to bet it on the two Uber actually. Really? Really? Do I just drop the charge ball like this? No right? Fine. Okay, that's fine actually. I'm done. Yeah, you can kill my EVGX or one of my Uber. I'm ready. Yeah, actually, it's quite fine. 
our setup. It's just that we have to sacrifice our EVGX in front for two prize cards. But since the opponent is playing Reshizad, I'm actually not really scared. You know, we can set out our Vaporeon then. That Reshizad is dead. It's just that we need to set out EV fast enough. Or at least Naganadal and another Naganadal and... So we can charge up the Quagsire for one hit on the Reshizad. Let it be a decent math that I can win. Oh, wait. Oh, he's going to GX, isn't it? Okay, don't drop my Frigid Forest, please. I need it. Yeah, this why I'm just scared of the custom catcher. I think he's thinking hard because I guess it's obvious that I'm playing water type evolution. The bad thing is our one of our EV is already in. Yeah. <laughs> it's already in the discard pile, so we only have these two EVs. Oh no. No, I don't think it matters so much. Okay, but I do want to get energy. Give me energy. Uh, Mr. Treasure, no, I cannot use it now. Oh, I can, but no, I'm not going to use it. I'm going to use it to get Vaporeon. If I don't get... What? It's an abilities? No one tells me that. Fine, I'll go find my Naganadel first. Okay, I learned something every day. I don't know, I don't want to play this anymore. <laughs> can kill my Naganadel. I really don't know that EVGX is weak to power plant. I didn't realize that. I should have known, isn't it? Now that I think about it, the stage 1 is EV, not EVGX, so I should have assumed that the abilities is the abilities of EVGX. Again, honestly, if I don't get a draw supporter next turn or anything that can help me from this situation, I'm just going to concede. Because it's unfortunate that the plow power plant actually messed this deck up. Oh no, I feel quite bad that the three matches that we play, <laughs> we actually lose all of it. Well, what to do? Mm, if you say that this deck doesn't work right, honestly this deck actually works, you know. I mean, I played this there a few times before recording it and I actually did another recording before this that gets corrupted so I played quite a few match with this deck already and against Reshizad, I guess before I changed my EV to EVGX against Reshizad it does quite well and against Mewtwo and Mew it just sounds like you are bullying the opponents But then again, I guess this deck is still very weak against non-GX with the fact that a lot of the non-GX Pokemon nowadays, they are fairly 
you know strong attacker so they can most probably one hit two hit your vaporeon gx and glacion gx anyway and the glacion gx attack is still very lackluster and yeah it's a bit hard to set up your vaporeon gx no i really can't believe evgx is weak to power plant i didn't even realize <laughs> now i learned something new now I know the more reason why people don't play EVGX or any of the evolutions. Okay, go EV, you're up. Uh, no. I can't even drop anything. Yeah, I can't even attack. And this thing is just going to die next turn. No, actually, this not. This won't die. Yeah, but I'm just going to do it. Alright. Honestly, I surrendered already. That one turn really, really messed us up. Maybe also, if you're considering to play this deck, maybe you will consider to play more supporter cards. Since I feel that I've been stuck with supporter cards quite a lot of times. Did I not charge up? Do I even have things to charge up? Nope. Of course not. Yeah, it's just going to retreat and attack. With the Rashisat at the back. And yeah, that's more or less the game. Never mind, I uh, will actually concede this game. Okay, I guess that's all about this deck. I uh, really, really apologize that I actually didn't win a new match on this video. But honestly, really, I did another recording already and it was much better. Oh well. I guess it was much better match. But this match, the few matches proves that this deck doesn't work very well against those non-GX. Against the GX. Oh no, screw you power plant. No, I don't like it. <laughs> okay, never mind. But you can see that I guess the evolutions are still can still be relevant if you put some thought on it, if you put some effort to actually make it work. Especially the Glacier on GX. Especially you want to bully Mewtwo and Mew G Tech Team GX. Glacier on GX is your Pokemon, definitely. Okay, that's all about the video today. Thank you guys for watching and see you guys again next time. Bye-bye.